Now hold on. After seeing all this, I'm starting to realize something here. In order to turn coffee fruit into coffee beans, there's this huge mill with its huge machines. This place is loud, it's hot, and it's using a lot of energy. In fact, the more I think about it, it suddenly hits me that it's more than just energy we're talking about here. Coffee has huge environmental costs. For example, at the mill, the ovens are powered by burning wood, which means that you gotta cut down lots of trees and, and when the wood is burned, smoke pollution is given off into the air. Plus, so much water is used to wash and process the beans. I mean, all this water has to come from somewhere. Then there's all the waste that's produced because of coffee. Think of all the dirty water that's produced. Think of all the pulp that's produced. Tons and tons of pulp. I mean, where do they put it all? Believe it or not, a lot of times they just take the pulp and dump it straight into rivers. Can you imagine what would happen if there's tons of rotten, slimy fruit flowing down a river, getting into drinking water? I mean, talk about toxic water pollution. Then there's the farms themselves. Did you ever think about the land that the coffee farms are sitting on? Because it wasn't always farmland. I mean, before the farms came around, these hills were covered with thick, forest. When those forests were cut down to make room for these farms, all of the rich biodiversity, the animals, the plants, and the bugs wiped out. Then there's all the stuff used for farming itself. Think about it. There's fertilizers, fungicides, pesticides, herbicides. Imagine all the chemicals that have been applied on these hills every year. And when it rains, <laughs> And boy, does it rain. In this part of the world, it rains nearly eight months out of every year. And the rain washes all the chemicals from the farms down into the soils, down the hills, and into the rivers. This is a huge deal. All of this just to grow coffee beans, which of course, then they have to ship to us in the United States, which is thousands of miles away, which means they got to burn more oil and give off greenhouse gases and Okay, the fact of the matter is, everything we ever use or make or grow has environmental impacts. It's something we've got to acknowledge and something we've got to deal with. Now, I know it's hard to think about these kinds of things, but just because we ignore it doesn't mean it goes away. Of course, it's fine to buy things, it's fine to use things, because we wouldn't be able to survive if we didn't. But we should be more thoughtful about the things that we do buy, because I mean, if you think about it, when you pay for something, you're not paying just for the thing itself. You're paying for all the stuff that went into making it, too. I mean, it makes sense, right? Right. <laughs>